All right, so this is the beginning of a new decade. There was a lot of anticipation in the air as Nirmala Sitaraman took to this podium to read out the two-and-a-half-hour-long speech. The finance minister announced the budget 2020. The union minister announced support, financial aid and subsidies for the rural sector and certain changes in the income tax slab that has left a lot of people a little perplexed. Now, corporate tax was left largely unchanged. There were also certain changes that were announced in the banking sector. Private investment would now come into LIC and much more. But the focus, of course, remained on Nirmala Sitaraman's proposed new personal income tax regime, where income tax rates, it is now being said, will be reduced if an individual taxpayer, and this is where it gets really interesting, if an individual taxpayer agrees to forego several of the exemptions that were earlier available to him. So if you forego these exemptions, then you will now come into this new lower tax bracket. Now the question, of course, that a lot of people are asking is, net-net, will you end up paying lesser tax under this new tax regime? Now for starters, there are those who can opt for the new tax regime. They'll have to forego 70 out of the 100 exemptions that they currently enjoy. Now, the important tax breaks that will not be available under the new regime include the benefits. Remember this, you get a lot of benefits by claiming exemptions under Section 80C. You can save tax to the tune of almost 1.5 lakh rupees under various investments that you could make in Provident Fund, National Pension Scheme, Life Insurance Premium, by investing in fixed deposits, in mutual funds, etc., etc., there will be no exemptions under 80D as well. That includes medical insurance premium. And you will have to let go of the tax breaks on house rent allowance and the interest paid on housing loan as well. The taxpayers will have to forego the tax breaks for the disabled and the charity donations that they earlier could claim under 80C. Now, all of these are big exemptions that if you are willing to let go, then you will come under the new tax regime. Now, the big question, of course, is will the new personal tax regime really bring any kind of tax saving for, for, for many people? Now, under the new tax regime, the individuals can opt to pay tax at the reduced rates without claiming the various tax exemptions and deductions. But net-net, will you be end up saving more? Or instead, will you end up paying more to the government? The individuals will have to work out their liability under the old and the new tax regimes and then decide on which one is more beneficial.